Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a card flip animation. So when you tap on the screen, the card flips and when you tap again, the card flips back. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create a card flip animation here in effect house. Before we start creating the animation, please make sure you have all the assets you want to use in this filter. So a card front and also a card back graphic, um, yeah, just create them as a PNG file. If you don't have a graphic yet and you just want to follow along this tutorial, no worries, I have created some graphics for you. So just go to the description of this video, click on the download link and then just download here the card back and the card front PNG. After you have downloaded the PNGs or you have created your own, just yeah, select them in your finder and then drag and drop the two files into your assets bundle of the effect house. After the input is done, the first step I always do is to select the texture, go to the right hand side and then set the compression type to none. So yeah, it has the best quality possible um, in the filter. So when we have done this, we can start creating our scene so we already see something here in our viewport. So we go to the hierarchy panel and here we will add some objects. The first object we will add is a 3D empty mesh. So go to the go to 3D and then select empty mesh. This will be the container where we will um, drop our card back and our card front into it. So after we have created this we also need two more objects, so go again to add object, go to 3D and here select image. Now we have also created an image and we can already see something here in our viewport. Now the image is outside of the mesh we have created, but we want it inside of it. So just drag it into the empty mesh. So it looks like this, so you can open and close the empty mesh. Now. We need a second image for this, so we um, can just duplicate this, so right click and duplicate. And now I will just rename those images so I don't get confused. So I will rename the first image to front and the second image here to back. Please make sure the order are right, so the front is the first one and the back is the second one. When we have successfully renamed those, we can just um, yeah, select the texture for those images. So for the front, we select it, go to the right hand side and here set the texture of course to the card front. And then for the back, also select it, go to the right hand side and here set the texture to card back. Now we can already see our card back here in the viewport and now we have to change some rotation values here in our hierarchy. So go to front and then, this is important that you use the front, then go to the right hand side and here set the rotation of the y axis to 180. So nothing has changed here, but when we go to our scene here and rotate, um, the viewport, we can already see that the card has two sides, the card back and the card front. So now we can start programming the filter here at the visual scripting panel. So when we tap on the screen, the card flips and when we tap again, the card flips back. So now, um, yeah, I also want to make this card bigger. This is very simple because we have this empty mesh where all the and two images are nested into, so we just select the empty mesh, go to the right hand side and here we can set the scale for example to 1.5 and yeah, the card back and the card front are both scaling to this size. So and now the fun part begins, we can start programming the filter here in the visual scripting panel. We will create some notes here. The first thing we will create is a screen tab note. So because I want to trigger the card flip animation with a screen tab, so it flips. So just click on add note and then search for screen tab. When you have found it, just insert it. The next very important note is a transit by time um, node, so we insert this. After we have inserted this, please make sure you set here 
um, the transit by time from number to vector free. This is very important because our rotation value has is a vector free um, value. So now we can already um, yeah, program just one flip. So I will show this, show you how to do this. So we can now connect the output of the screen tab patch to the start input of the transit by time. And here we set the from, we don't set the from, we leave it at zero. And we set the to the y axis to 180 because we want to um, yeah, rotate our empty mesh by 180 degrees. So the duration of the animation should be, yeah, let's say one second. And I set the interpolator to is in out because then it will look smoother. So now we need the rotation value here of the empty mesh in our visual scripting panel. So for this, we select the empty mesh, go to the right hand side to transform and at rotation, we can see this little dot, click on it and here I'm select set rotation. Now we can see this node here in our viewport and now we have just to connect them in the correct way. So the stay output of the transit by time patch goes into the enter input of the set rotation node. And here the current vector three goes into the value input of the set rotation node. So when we have done this, we can already test our filter. So yeah, just tap the screen here and the card flips but when we tap again it just resets the animation if you wanted it like this way that it just resets and flips again now you're done but when you also want the animation to um, finish and then when we tap again um, yeah rotate back then um, yeah follow along then we need some more nodes the first node we will create is a do once node because when we um, tap on the screen, the animation should be finished after we can tap again. So now we will just connect it um, to one node with the screen tab. So this output goes into the enter input of the do once um, node and the output goes to the start at, of the transit by time node. Now, when we test the filter again, when we tap on it, it rotates, but when we tap now again, it does nothing and this is what we want. So now we need another node and now we need a flip flop. This flip flop um, gets connected to the end output of the transit by time node. And here also need a logic select. So add another node, add a logic select and then as with the transit by time patch, set the logic select from number to vector free. So the, we have here at the flip flop a Boolean output and this Boolean output gets connected to the condition input of the logic select like this. And here we can now set some values. When the condition is true, then this should be at 180 for the Y axis and the else just leave it like that. So now we need another logic select. So just duplicate this one. And here also connect the Boolean output to the condition input. Here then when the condition is true, then it should be R0. So set the y axis back to zero, else it should be the y at 180. So yeah, set the two logic select up like this. And now the result, the vector free output of this goes into the from input of the transit by time. So where the 10y is at 180. And here this, the second one goes to the two input of the transit by time node. Now there are two connections left because we also have to reset our do once um, node. So for this, the flip flop outputs, both of them go to the reset input of the do once node. 
And after we have done this, our yeah, car flip animation is ready. So we can um, yeah, trigger it in both directions. So just click on the screen, then it flips. And now when the animation is done, you can tap again on the screen and it flips back. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Now you can play around with the duration here. When you want it faster, you can set it to 0 0.5. Now when you tap on the screen, it is much faster. So yeah, just play around until you find the right settings for your use case. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.